Hello, welcome to my new lesson. My name is Imelda and in today's lesson we will be learning about phrases in which there are different words which mean completely different things but when they come together they create an effect. Not sure what am I talking about? Today we will be learning about oxymoron. <laughs> Oxymoron. As I said, there are phrases in which two words come together but they have different meaning but when they come, they have an effect and they're very useful when you're speaking to someone. For example, a very good example of oxymoron is happily married. Yeah, I got you. Okay, let's look at the example. Let's look at some of the examples that we have today. The first one I have for you is act naturally. What is act? Act is to pretend or to be unreal. Act means to pretend or to be unreal. They are unreal emotions when people come up with saying, Oh my dear love, I love you. Practically they don't mean it, but they are fake emotions, right? Act means fake, act means pretend, act means unreal. But have you ever noticed Actors getting awards like Oscar or Emmy to act naturally. Why? Because their emotions appear so natural that you feel their emotion. If I remember correctly, how about Titanic? Yes, the actors acted naturally in the movie Titanic. Got it? Right. Moving on to the next one. Clearly misunderstood. Uh, this has happened so many times with me. I would tell something peacefully and politely and I'm talking about directions. Boss, you want to take right, then you take a left and then you take go straight and then you take a U-turn. And then he says, ah, yeah, I want to take left, right, I take a U-turn and then I go straight. See, he got clearly misunderstood. What do I mean? Clearly means precise. However, Misunderstood means wrong or making a mistake. Okay, so clearly, although it means very precise, correct, on the dot, but wrong and misunderstood are completely opposite than what we have here. So clearly misunderstood is one of the oxymoron when you're trying to tell someone, dude, you clearly misunderstood me. I want you to follow my direction in this way. Okay, so that's clearly misunderstood for you. Now moving on to, I have the educated guess. Uh, you will see this phrase in a lot of Hollywood movies, especially in a sci-fi movies or scientific fiction movies. Okay, why would you say educated? Educated means informed, that means you calculate, oh, okay, uh, well, the moon sets, or the sun sets in the west and it rises on the east. That means my house, which faces the west, uh, is actually on the east. So that's an educated, but it's a guess. You're not sure of it. Well, educated means informed, that means you're being informed, you're being calculated, two plus two is four, but you make a guess. I don't know if two plus two makes a four or a six. You make an educated guess, right? Two opposite words, but when they come together, they mean informed but unsure. Educated guess. Great. Got it? Let's move on to the other one. Found missing. <gasps> right. If you go to airports or um, railway stations or bus terminal, you may have this term lost and found. Another oxymoron. Lost and found. Found means being discovered and lost means, of course, lost means lost, but you can't discover it anyways. But you will have phrases like found missing. If you read newspapers, you will have this phrase, oh, um, an item such as a suitcase or a bag or a dress or a phone was found missing. That means they discovered that they have lost the item, right? Again, discovered means when you find something, you actually got it, but lost means when you don't see it anymore. So found missing, two opposite word. Moving on to my favorite jumbo shrimp. Now this oxymoron goes very well to 
for all those who love seafood. And I'm pretty sure what people would know what shrimp means. Shrimp actually means a small, tiny little seafood that has tentacles and you know, you break open the shell and then you eat the flesh inside. Shrimp is actually really small. It's only this small. It's considered one of the tiniest seafood that you ever have. But imagine you have a jumbo shrimp. <gasps> jumbo means big. You know, it's supposed to say like jumbo elephant. I think jumbo is associated to the animal elephant. And imagine elephant with a shrimp. Two opposite, right? But shrimp, if you know what jumbo shrimp, jumbo shrimp will be a little bigger than the regular one, okay? okay? Again, it has a hard shell on the top. You crack open it and you have it. So jumbo means big. Shrimp is a very tiny, small seafood. So next time, if you go to a restaurant, you may want to order a jumbo shrimp for your dinner or your lunch. Moving on to the only option. Well, to be honest, your wife is your only option. <laughs> what I meant is only means solo. It means single, actually. Okay. However, option means a choice. That means, let's say you want to choose a girlfriend, right? And you have um, Tina, you have Clara, you have Isabel. But imagine Tina and Clara, they ditched you, they dumped on you and they said, sorry, John, I'm not interested. So Isabel becomes your only option. Option means having a choice between two or three. Okay, it's two or three, having a choice between two or three. But when you don't have this choice, you can either say Isabel is your only option to be your wife or Isabel is your only choice to be your wife. Practically, you don't have a choice anymore. You are stuck with someone or you're stuck with an option. The so only option, also only choice. Okay, moving on to the second last one I have is pretty ugly. Now, both these phrases, pretty and ugly, refer to something that you want to see or you want to look at. Pretty actually means very beautiful. For example, Miss Universe has a pretty face. Got it? Right. But ugly is something that is very unpleasant to look at. Maybe the so-called modern art of an artist where something that you don't really understand and it's kind of ugh, brings that sensation. It's pretty ugly. However, Pretty actually here means very. Now that's a, that's a phrase they're actually using. Pretty here means just very. And you say, if you say very ugly or pretty ugly, it practically means the same. It means a particular picture or a statue or a monument or something that you wanna look at. It's not pleasant, it's very pleasant, it's very unpleasant to your eyes. And you're saying that thing is pretty ugly. Got it? Right? Shall we move on to the last one? Yeah. The best is the last or the last is the best one. Small crowd. There is a saying two is a company, three is a crowd. But what is a crowd? Crowd means a large group of people. It has to be more than two. However, you have if some people call two also a group. For example, if you're doing a presentation or a meeting or you're doing some workshop, you are divided into a group of two or a crowd of two, right? So cr crowd means large group of people, but small means small, less than usual. You see, it's less than usual for small, but for crowd, it is large group. So sometimes when you have people uh, who is just forming a group, probably three or four, you can call them a small group of people. So, usually you would refer a small crowd as three or four people come together and they do an activity or they're doing something or they're just being in a particular place. Okay, so that's a small crowd. 
Now please understand, small crowd is actually very relative. For example, if you're going for a movie in a theater, if the theater is full, you may want to say it's a large crowd. But if a theater has a capacity of probably 100 seats and only 20 people are there, then you will say it's a small crowd. Again, what I mean is it's very relative. Normally, three to four people are considered a small crowd. This brings us to the end of the lesson. I hope you understood what oxymoron actually means. So next time, I will be seeing you with another lesson that will be very interesting. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, be beautiful, and keep learning English. Ciao!